Hello friends, welcome to Automotive Diagnostics. In this video, we are going to discuss about a common scenario which you might face if you have a diesel engine. In our channel, we will be discussing about the automobile service and technical information both in Tamil and English. And if you are new to our channel, do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the updated notification. Let's get into the video. In this picture, you can see Maruti Suzuki S-Cross 2017 model diesel engine and it has been driven for around 60,000 km. The customer's concern is that the vehicle is lagging in acceleration. So this will be a common in diesel engine when your vehicle is driven for about 1,50,000 km and your vehicle might lag in acceleration and top speed. So the main reason for the lack of performance in your engine is due to the deposits of carbon which results in block or reduced flow of air in your intake manifold. And the reason for carbon getting clogged in your intake manifold is due to the exhaust gas recirculation into your manifold through the EGR valve. Hence, the EGR is the main responsible for the carbon deposit in your intake manifold. So, in our case, the vehicle has driven only 60,000 km and we have decided to clean the EGR valve and intercooler. So, watch the video till the end so that you will get a clear idea about all the components in the EGR valve. Now, we have removed the EGR valve assembly from the engine. And you can see the carbon being deposited in your intake manifold. These are the components of EGR wall and we have dismantled for the cleaning process. You can closely look into the aluminium elbow which connects the EGR wall and the intake manifold. And all our components are covered with carbon. So, you might have the doubt why the EGR assembly is installed in the diesel engine. Here is the answer. The main reason for installing the EGR into the CRDI diesel engine is to reduce the NOx emission that is the oxides of nitrogen and this is done by limiting the flow of oxygen into the intake manifold. So less oxygen results in less combustion temperature and less combustion temperature results in reduced NOx emission. To put all the information in a nutshell, while you start your car, your engine will be loaded with 70% of fresh air and 30% of the exhaust gases being circulated through the EGR valve. So that 30% of the oxygen is limited and resulting in reduced emission. Now we have cleaned all the components of the EGR and it is ready to get assembled. Now this is the intercooler assembly and it is responsible for pre-cooling the compressed air which comes from the turbo. So we have removed the intercooler assembly from the vehicle for the cleaning process.
After a thorough cleaning of our intercooler, we are drying it for removing all the moisture present in it. For your information, if you have driven your vehicle for about 1,50,000 and above, then you need to check your timing chain and get it replaced. Alongside, you can go for intake manifold cleaning, EGR cleaning and intercooler cleaning for clean engine and better performance. And there are also decarbonization procedures where you can remove all the carbon present in your engine without removing any components from the vehicle. All these services are common in all diesel engines respective of their brands. Now all the components are cleaned, dried and fixed into our vehicle and the vehicle is ready for a ride. Now we can actually feel the difference in the acceleration after the cleaning process. And the vehicle is able to reach 120 km per hour without any difficulties. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you are interested to know more about automobile related technical information, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get our videos notified. That's it for today and thanks for watching.